Welcome back. This is episode 2 of Banking APIs, and we'll be looking at API design. In the last episode, we looked at how the API browsers, the HAL browser and our own uh, OData.js browser, can be used to look around an API. And we had a little experiment with Postman making requests and setting accept headers. What we want to do now is take a look at the API design. So the API design we looked at last time was based on OData. And OData's API has a very strict structure and very strict URI conventions. That's not suitable for everyone's API and not what everyone wants. So what we want to try and explore is how to turn this API, which I term a, a data service, something useful for getting data, into an interaction service, something that has a bit more of a, a lead uh, to a goal, so you get lead through the API. Now there are some APIs out there, and it seems to be a developing trend that APIs are more structured, and the popularity of the HAL media type, the hypertext application language, is often seen in these APIs, where links are included as part of the API. Now, Whilst that's a step forward, and it helps the, the developer navigate the API, we see this as a progression to an interaction service, something where it actually guides a user agent, rather than just something that guides you through a better API. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this simple API here with a service document at root, and I'm going to add another uh, root, another, uh, another entry point, and we're going to call that our origination entry point. So I'll define a new resource here called origination. origination. And this entry point is going to be the landing point for someone who is onboarding customers. So I'll just copy some of these here. I'll give it something useful like origination. And these details here, as there won't be any body, won't matter significantly. I could even share the uh, service document. So if you imagine this resource is just going to be linked, there isn't actually going to be any payload associated with it. So it doesn't matter too much which of these I pick for the purposes demo. But what I want to do is from this resource, I want to be able to have a link to the next part which will be a list of customers. So I'm going to pick this customer interface here. In fact, let's just copy the whole line. So I'll copy that whole line. Put that there. So now, from here, from this landing point, I can see the list of customers. If I go into the list of customers, what I really want to do from here, in addition to looking at the customers, is create a customer. So here's the link to look at each customer, I'm going to create another link, which is post, and I'm going to post to T24, uh, and that create resource that I imported earlier. And I know there's a, a resource on here for new. So new is used for creating new resources, you know, new customers. So I should be able to come into, let's go back, come into my landing point, go to a list of customers, and add another customer. Once I've added the customer, I can go back to this uh, list of customers. I can control that with these uh, transitions here if I want. But for the sake of this, that's a, a very simple progression to a goal, to adding a customer. Now let's do something a little bit clever. Let's have a look at the view. So it's a little bit difficult to get a, to grips with what I'm talking about as far as the goal. So if I turn on this view here for the rim visualization, it might start to make a bit more sense. So if I click on origination, you can see there's this goal from origination to customer infos, and it should from here, you can see the next goal, look at each customer, or create a new customer. So you get, start to get an idea of how 
we can work our way through the API. So going from here, following the link to the next point and getting these options to create new. So I'm just going to build that now, publish it and have a look around that with our Hell browser. I'll click on package. And once that's finished, I'll deploy. Okay, so that's finished building. Okay, so we've now deployed that new service and I've gone to the origination endpoint here. So this origination endpoint, as we designed, has just one link through to customer infos. So if I follow that link, it goes and gets a list of the customers, all these customers here, and you can see here that there's an item. So an item is the is the content, you know, the content of that uh, entity and within the list. But this link here is a, an interesting one, this new link. So this new link is sitting off the um, origination link. So if I go back to origination, go drill down into customer infos. Customer infos has this link here, new, to create new customers. What's really interesting is that this docs link is now lit up. So if I go into um, get, it actually, well, I know that it's not a get from my, from my own experience. I know that it needs a, a post. Let's have a look at this docs link in case I don't know. So if I have a look at the docs, you can see down the bottom here it's pointing to Temenos Tech Rels New. Let's try and open that up. Let's open that up in a new window, new tab. Right here, oh, there's some documentation. So the link actually comes in two parts. Let's see if I can see that for you in the response. Actually, you can see there it's actually that web page came up in the inside the browser, which is not my intention. So it's going to go back here to this. Let's see if we can see that link. Origination, go into customer infos. Okay, so over here on the right, there's a self link. There's a link to new. There's the title, and here's the link I'm looking for. So, ver create new, there's the new, and here's the link rel. So, the link, and I find it a lot easier to read these um, in XML in an Atom pub. So, why don't I just do that? I'll go to that in Postman. Let's just get rid of that and get the default XML view. Right, you can see here the link comes in two parts. We've got the rel, which happens to be what we call double barreled at the moment, where you're describing the, the type part, which is actually the profile. So we're moving to a profile um, attribute of this um, in, in Atom Pub. And the link here, this rel's new. And here's the, the URI part, the href. So what we've got here is a description of this link can be used for that type of action. So the rel describes what you can do with the link. And so that documentation is telling us that this type of link, this, this link rel here, needs a post. So when you post to it, you get back a defaulted new record from T24. And that's, that's calling the either the auto ID if it exists, it's doing the um, populating the fields with you know, um, defaulted details. It's doing quite a bit of work there, but the really important thing is that we've described to the client what they need to do with this link, which is, which is very powerful. So if I take that link um, straight into Postman, I can actually post to it and show you what a new record looks like. Okay, so I've taken that link the customer creates new and I've put it into Postman I've set the two headers that I need so I'll accept XML back we'll give it a content type of XML on the way even though it'll be uh, zero length now if I send that post I get back this entry here so these are the defaulted details for a new customer so I can use that now and post that to the next link which is described for me in the response. 
So I know that I can use this link here, this, this href, and the input. So I post this body to that to create the new record. And that's how I get things negotiating between the um, user agent of the media type and the understanding of what to do with the links once, once I've resolved the, the response. And with that, we can build user agents that can be led through goals and provide options to clients. Okay, well, thank you for watching episode two on API design. We've just had a little look at how to create an OData style service uh, for use as a data service API. We've had a look at how to create an interaction style service and create a new entry point. We also saw how this could be used to create an API where the developer gets led through the API as a form of documentation. And we started to have a look at how to create an interaction style service for the use of an API when you're building a user agent. Stay tuned for episode three, where we'll talk about API management. Thanks again for watching. Welcome back. This is episode two of Banking APIs, and we'll be looking at API design.